All right, hello guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about today's severe weather that is coming up. It, it should be a severe weather outbreak. We have two different areas of enhanced risk. It's going to probably be a very, very big day. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family and social medias. For today's comment of the day, I want to know if you were forced to only eat one food for the rest of your life. And I'm not talking Mexican or Italian. I'm talking one singular meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. And for tomorrow's video, whichever one I think I agree with most, I will be picking at the end of tomorrow's video. All right, so go ahead and comment that down below. First things first, we're looking at yesterday here, and we actually had eight tornado reports here in Texas near uh, Abilene, Graham. Uh, that's that's kind of to the northwest of Fort Worth. We had another one right there uh, on the highway. So it was a big tornado day. We actually had a few huge supercells. And these storms that we're having today are going to be associated with those same ones because it is kind of the same pattern, obviously. It's only one day later. Uh, so we're going to be on the lookout for possibly some more tornadoes throughout the day today. Now, we have two enhanced risks, like I said, but we're also going to go over our different probabilities for like wind, hail, and tornadoes. So it's going to be... Um, really informative for us to be able to go over all of those and just talk about the percent chances. And then we're going to go ahead and get into our simulated radar and other things like that. So we're about to move on and take a look at all of those things. Now, I do want to mention as well, I am expecting to go live at some point today. I'm going to be keeping an eye on the radar all day. And once I feel like things are really coming together and we are going to see some imminent severe weather threats, I will be going live. I am expecting that that would probably be in between 3 and 7 p.m. at some point. It really just depends when these thunderstorms really get rolling. But please come join us if you live in the impacted regions for our live stream today. I love interacting with you guys, and it's going to be a lot of fun to be able to talk with you guys and track these thunderstorms. All right, so first things first, here's our categorical outlook. And this one's really easy. It's the most simplistic one we have. In our lighter shade of green, that's where we're expecting general thunderstorms. And then in our darkish green shade, that's what we call our marginal risk area. And typically, we look for a little bit of isolated severe weather within there, but nothing widespread. Uh, within the slight risk, obviously, we're starting to see more and more risk. That's going to be our yellow area there. Uh, it's pretty widespread today. We have a very large area of slight risk, so... We're going to be looking for some potential scattered in severe weather in, in spots within that yellow area, but nothing widespread. It's these two orange areas, which we call the enhanced risk. That's where we start to see a lot more widespread severe weather and possibly even major severe weather. So we have one there for Nebraska, Missouri, and Iowa. And then we have one that extends from Arkansas up through Missouri, portions of Kentucky, Illinois, and Indiana. Now let's look at our individual probabilities. First off, our wind outlook. We have our 5% chance within 25 miles of a given location within the brown area. 15% chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a given location within the yellow. And then two areas of 30% chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a given location there. You can see that's for our two enhanced areas because that's enhanced risk of uh, wind. That's what we would call that. Now for your hail, same story, 5% within the brown. Yellow is 15%. Red is going to be our 30% in that hatched area is what we call our significant region. And that's an area where we're expecting high potential for large hail above one inch diameter there for that black hatched region. So we are expecting the potential for very damaging hail there uh, as we're going to have possibly supercells developing within that region for Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and a little bit of Kansas as well. Well, all right, now we're about to move on and take a look at our tornado probability, which also happens to be very high today. And then we're going to get into our simulated radar and we're going to take it hour by hour for you guys here in this video. All right, so here's our tornado probability first off. Our two green areas, that's going to be like our marginal risk for tornadoes. That's our 2% chance. For tornadoes there within the brown, we have 5% chance. You can see we have two of those 5% chance areas. And then we have 10% chance for Nebraska, Iowa. And then we have one there for Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and a little bit of Kentucky as well. Keep in mind that area there, the very eastern one, is where we were expecting to see the most severe weather this spring. I made a couple videos on that, and we're still seeing that forecast pan out excellently that actually I, I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb I think that might be my best so far my best forecast I've ever made on this channel here 
Now let's briefly look at your warnings, watches, and advisories because I wanted to update you guys on the blizzard warnings there. Yesterday's video, I mentioned that I think it will be extended into northeastern Colorado, and sure enough, if you take a look, we see those oranges there for a lot of the northeast or the yeah the northeastern counties there in Colorado, and we do see a lot of blizzard warnings there as well as in Nebraska and Wyoming. I did think that we would see some for southern South Dakota, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. All right, now we're about to take a look here at our simulated radar. We're going to have that same low pressure system that is bringing our blizzard for a lot of these regions. It's also going to be bringing the severe weather as well. So this is just a major low pressure system in general, and it's really going to be leading to a lot of severe weather for a lot of regions. So we're about to move on and take a look at our simulated radar and take it by hour by hour for you folks. All right, so our first hour here, this is going to be around now, and you can see we have thunderstorms around, but, and this is also for our slight and enhanced regions, but this isn't the severe thunderstorms, and really this is actually going to hold back a lot of the future development for later on in the day. Uh, if we didn't have thunderstorms ahead of all of our severe weather, I would say we would maybe have a moderate chance today, uh, but really what we see is if a thunderstorm rolls through, it eats a lot of the potential energy that is there for future thunderstorms, so it really does lower the potential and also with the cloud and the rain uh, it's going to be a little bit less warm so again all of those things kind of um, I would say they kind of lead to a little less potential for severe weather but obviously we still have enhanced risk today so it's not like we don't have a severe weather risk now but uh, really it does kind of hold everything back. Let's move on towards this afternoon and this is going to be by about 3 p.m. and you can see that we have oranges and yellows there as far as temperatures and that's where we're at 60s and 70s so definitely sufficient for severe weather for sure. Very warm temperatures there uh, and again this is by about 3 p.m. Let's look at that cape as well. I've been showing you guys this in a lot of our severe weather videos this year uh, just teaching you guys about this and in our pink area that's usually where we look at good potential for severe weather development. Purple is possible. We need cape for thunderstorms to develop, and sure enough, we have plenty around, uh, so definitely sufficient for severe weather development. And as we move towards maybe about 5 or 6 p.m. tonight, uh, there for Kansas and Missouri, as well as areas in Arkansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky, we're seeing those kind of oranges shades. That's where we have over 2,000 capes, so definitely sufficient for a lot of those regions. That is well over enough, more than you need for severe weather for sure. And here's that radar by this point. Most of our severe weather is going to be at this point. Uh, again, this is maybe I would say 5 p.m. or later, maybe 5 to 7 p.m. here. We're seeing those severe thunderstorms develop now for Nebraska and in through Iowa. And we're also seeing some of it for northern Arkansas there in southern Missouri. And we're seeing some of that as well for southern Indiana and Illinois by this point. This is going to be an overnight event, so let's go ahead and move towards about 9 p.m. tonight, and you can see we're still dealing with severe weather. These are particularly dangerous situations just because of the fact that you could be asleep, it, you might not see anything coming, uh, it could catch you off guard, and that's what we had happen in Nashville a few weeks back, unfortunately, so it does scare me uh, when we do see these overnight events, but again... Still seeing those severe thunderstorms. That looks like supercell development to me uh, near Nebraska and Iowa. So we're, I'm going to be very interested to see what happens with all that. And then we also see for Missouri, Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, and a bit of Kentucky, we're seeing those multicellular or maybe potentially supercell storms developing right there. Let's move towards maybe about 11 p.m. here. Again, pretty late now. A lot of people are asleep by 11 p.m., um, we're still seeing severe thunderstorms there for Iowa, Missouri, southern Illinois, southern Indiana. The same areas, but we are seeing more and more new thunderstorms move through. Uh, I am expecting to see a few major supercells today and possibly some major tornadoes as well, unfortunately, uh, are going to be associated with those. So we're about to move on, take a look at some more of our cape and a few more radar uh, frames. We're just going to take this one in through the night and just see what happens uh, as we move forward here. So here's the cape by that point. You can see lots of purples and pinks still available, indicating high areas of cape. So we're still going to see thunderstorms, new thunderstorms developing and thunderstorms strengthening at about uh, 11 p.m., like I said. Let's move towards, and this is probably going to be about 12 or 1 a.m., and we see a lot of those thunderstorms have moved into mostly Illinois and Indiana by this point. Again, let's move on, and this is going to be maybe by about 
2 a.m. here. Still seeing Illinois, now even Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio getting involved. K- Kentucky getting a little bit more involved. Still see a lot of severe thunderstorms around. And then as we move, um, and this is probably going to be by about 5 a.m. So, I mean, everybody's asleep by 5 a.m. We're seeing Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky still getting some of those severe thunderstorms. So, yeah, definitely a dangerous, dangerous overnight situation going to be going on for us during this evening early, early morning, and in the middle of the night. So for yesterday's comment of the day, I asked who's going to do better on their new teams, Tom Brady or Phillip Rivers, and it seemed that you guys all thought Tom Brady's going to do better, better, as do I. So I saw Swamper60 commented, Brady, explanation mark. Sad to see him not finish as a Patriot. I couldn't agree more, but what are you going to do? Uh, I absolutely agree. It's, it's very sad, and as a Patriots fan, I have no idea who's going to be our quarterback moving forward, but I am very, very excited to see what happens in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media, and I will see you guys in the next video.